Our next presenter is Gretchen Crow. She's a fourth year PhD student in biology, and she knew she wanted to study plant biology when she did a USDA internship during her undergraduate. I'll also point out that she is an NSF graduate fellow, and the title of her presentation today is Building Better Crops, Tackling Iron Deficiency in Plants. Iron deficiency anemia affects a third of the world's population. This is mainly women and children. Since iron is essential for brain development, symptoms of deficiency range from mild fatigue to severe developmental defects such as blindness. But these symptoms are largely avoidable if people can have access to diets with higher levels of iron. So why is iron deficiency so common if the, if the tr treatment seems so simple? because the crops that we eat as our source of dietary iron are also commonly iron deficient. When a crop is iron deficient, a lot less iron is getting to the edible portions of these plants, and so that leads to much lower dietary iron for human consumption. This is especially an issue in these developing countries where people are relying on plant-based diets for all of their iron needs, and so iron deficiency anemia is most severe. So if we can solve the issue of iron deficiency in plants, we can grow crops that have higher levels of dietary iron for humans and vastly improve global health. For plants, iron is essential for photosynthesis. This is the process by which plants use the sun's energy to convert carbon dioxide into food for themselves. But when a plant is iron deficient, photosynthesis is drastically impaired. And we can actually see this because a nice healthy green leaf will turn to an iron deficient yellow leaf when the plant is deficient. And this is also a sign of decreased photosynthesis. When photosynthesis is limited, growth and nutritional quality of the crop also suffer. And we cannot reverse this. So I study how the leaf is responding to iron deficiency because this is where the most photosynthesis is taking place. And the biggest mystery here has been what is happening early on in iron deficiency in the leaf to adapt to low levels of iron and avoid long-term consequences. And by using molecular methods, I have discovered that the leaf is actually sacrificing key components of photosynthesis after only two days of iron deficiency. This is incredible because we don't see this type of yellowing symptom until much later, meaning that by the time we do see these symptoms, the damage to the crop is already done. But with my research, we now have a method to detect iron deficiency much earlier by measuring levels of key proteins in photosynthesis. So now we can tell if a seemingly healthy leaf is actually iron deficient, and we can treat the deficiency before it impacts growth and nutritional quality of the crop. By using this early detection method, we can build agricultural systems that strive to get higher levels of iron in plants for human consumption. So my research is giving us an ironclad strategy of turning this map from red to gray. Thank you. <laughs> 